What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Charles Slay here. I'm going to be doing things a little bit different today. I'm going to be coming out with a whole series. I know. A whole series revolving around how to trade, how to backtest, and etc. Right? So right now, I'm about to go ahead and get into it. All right. So don't worry about my head my head is going through it today we are in quarantine but what i am going to be doing is if you can see it bow is some back testing for you guys i'm about to go ahead and get into it um there's some key things that i want to go over before we go over some back testing one you need a spreadsheet two you need some pairs three you need trading view to access these pairs so you can back test properly you need to use the replay tool to make sure you're back testing properly. Another thing, you need to know how to do it, right? So like I said, all these tools right here, like I said, is what you need to become successful at back testing. Spreadsheet, trading view, that's it. Now you can use Notion, Evernote, all these other types of great tools to make sure that you're successful. But these are the ones that I use, Spreadsheet, Notion, and trading view right so notion this is what i use for notion notion i use to summarize all of the back testing and put selective few uh selective um screenshots in notion so we know um so i know now we know so i know uh how the pair moves and etc for example nzd pairs nzd usd goes very well with flags, right? I'm gonna show this to you. But like I said, I'm gonna be summarizing the back testing, but you guys don't wanna talk about all this. You want me to actually get into it. So let's get into it. Side note, this wall here, it's no longer green and blue. I painted it last week. It was a hassle, you guys, but it was amazing. I appreciate it. And I'm about to get some new furniture. It's still not done, as you can see, my original, um, set, you know, my original area where I usually do the trading is, oh, let me adjust this, is, oh, <laughs> is out of commission. So I'm going to be using this one. I got two areas. I got two areas. It's okay. But let's get into it. All right. So what you guys see here is me pretty much back testing my strategy, clicking the replay button and playing it out. So when um, my setup comes, I put the actual long and short position. Long and short position pretty much means that I'm actually taking the trade or in this case, if it was live, I would be taking the trade in that part. I had a couple losses here. I realized some of the flaws that was going in. I see some of the setups that I am missing, but overall UST Swiss Frank is pretty much a solid pair. It trends a lot and it's really, really um, consistent. So 100% definitely recommend everybody to back test after you see there there's a spreadsheet a spreadsheet is pretty much um me logging or recording all the wins and losses and break evens of this strategy um i go by pattern based so i'm putting in the patterns the before and after screenshots the dates my stop loss um the result of my trade like i said if i win loss or broke even uh, long or short, what pair it is, and the comments before or after, depending on how I feel. If it actually, you know, if there was a lot of drawdown, or if uh, why I lost the trade, or how did I, how did I feel when I lost the trade, I implement all of that into the comments uh, section all the way to the right, so I make sure that um, that all of it is recorded and logged because I'm going to review this. Then I go into Notion. <clears throat> when I get into lo to Notion. That's pretty much me uh, summarizing everything that I learned from that uh, pair, right? So NZD pairs actually work very, very well with my strategy. I have a lot of wins with the NZD USD pairs, um, Euro USD as well. Pretty much all the dollar pairs work very well. Uh, GBP USD was okay. It works a lot better with the sending channels instead of breakout and retest. Usually GBP pairs just take off. 
Um, and uh, like I said, there are pairs, each pair does something different and this is called uh, pair behavior. So I hope you guys really enjoy this and you guys, I'll let you get back to it. What's up YouTube? It's been about 30 minutes or so, 45 minutes or so of back testing. I do realize a lot of flaws, a lot of opportunities from my strategy. Um, I realized that USD Swiss franc wicks more than it usually does, but it trends a lot, right? So like I said, um, that's pretty, that's basically my uh, back testing way of doing things. Um, I want you guys, if you don't mind, like this video, comment and subscribe. And I appreciate all of you guys. Peace, upper echelons only.